for my prosthetics, I'm actually using a face cast. Since the latex I'm using is not to be used straight onto the face, it's actually just for prosthetics. So I'm mixing some flour and liquid latex together. It's just regular flour. And I'm doing this to create a latex paste. I'm adding some latex paste to my nose and I'm then dipping my fingers into liquid latex just so I can mold it without getting stuck. Also it kind of gives it a nice smooth surface when you do it like this. I never said it wasn't a messy job because it <laughs> seriously is a really messy job. But it's fun. It's really fun. I made sure not to cover my nostrils because I wanted to be able to breathe. That's why I also made the beak hollow. I'm also using some liquid latex and some cotton to this, just to give it a nice shape and to cover up those little cracks and holes that I managed to create. I also did some filming off camera because my battery ran out, so I need to buy a new battery or, well, an extra one. Also, I don't know why I didn't refill the container before starting to apply this latex because the container is obviously empty. I've added some tin foil to my beak because I wanted the top of the beak to overlap the lower one. I would however recommend you do the lower one first. I didn't really think about it until I started doing it, so shame on me. I also would recommend using tape or something onto the tin foil. I didn't have any tape at home, so I just went ahead and worked with latex and cotton and I covered it. It works, but it's a bit more job to do. As you can see, I'm just covering up all that tin foil.
There we go. The top beak is ready. I created the bottom beak off camera because, well, once again, the battery. And I think you get the point from creating the top one. I'm using extra strong skin adhesive to apply the prosthetics and I'm starting with the bottom one. I'm also adding latex to the edges, not only to get rid of the edges, but also so it will like support the prosthetics a little bit more. Even though I used extra strong skin adhesive, this is still a really heavy prosthetic to wear. Just because I didn't use enough tin foil, I used a lot of latex instead. I'm using my new palette that I bought last week, the Grimas Water Makeup Pure, I think it's called, and I'm gonna use the black one. I'm just using this to paint around my mouth and my nose area where it's gonna be like open between the two parts of the beak. And I'm then attaching my upper beak. Upper beak? Is it called upper beak? Can you say that? Ah, well, I'm gonna say that anyway. It's the upper beak. I also put in some lenses while waiting, and that's just because I'm gonna cry if I put them on. Adding some latex and cotton to the edges just to make them less visible, like blend it to the face. It's like everything with makeup, just blend, blend, blend. Of course, the latex I'm using here is safe to use in the face. Just always be aware while working around the eyes. Some latex has a really strong smell, which is gonna feel pretty bad in your eyes and it's gonna make it impossible to work. Sorry about that mirror. I'm going in with a yellow color, which I'm going to add to the center of the beak. From the same palette, I'm gonna go in with a orange one as well, as you can see there, yeah. Of course you can do this any way you want it. If you want a pink beak, do a pink beak. Why didn't I do a pink beak? I want a pink beak. And then proceeding to add some black. I start off with the nostrils and with the bottom jaw, bottom beak jaw, because I wanted to make sure the latex was dry at the top.
covered my brush in some water just to blend the colors a little bit more but I still thought the colors were a bit too bright so I'm going in with a wet sponge all over this is the part where everything went wrong I went in with a green on my face because, like I said, I had a different vision of what I wanted to do. I think somewhere around here it hit me. I started looking like a parrot and I did not want to look like a parrot. And I didn't want to go for like a cute makeup either. Parrot or a duck? I'm not sure. However, I really love that golden color I'm using on the eyelids there. That was one of the main reasons I bought those two palettes, because they had a gold and a silver one. And I figured I could implement that to my regular makeup as well. I'm green. How about no? So I decided to go with a picked on bird like other birds have been eating on me almost. I didn't have any feathers either which sucked because I think black feathers into this would have looked awesome. I'm just applying latex all over my face and adding some cotton to some places just to give it a bit more of a texture. While it's still wet, I'm using a tweezer to make some holes in it. Just rip it apart. Doesn't have to be pretty. Since I knew I was going to add latex to my eyebrows, I first applied some glue stick. The same kind of glue stick you like let kids play around with. And well, that saved me from getting and unwillingly waxing of my eyebrows, so yay! I'm also adding some grey paint to my face because I figured grey or black would look a lot better and I was right I'm also adding some to my hair, so you can just imagine I had to shower afterwards. That wasn't fun. I'm also adding fake blood to my face. Into all those little holes. Even made a few extra holes just to get more blood. These ain't gonna be pretty, you know. This is just... yeah. It's just me. I did, however, add some more to my shoulders. And here we go. Also added some black eyeliner to my eyes. Which was stupid to do after everything else because it was a bit hard to get in there. <laughs> now we have a finished product. Rah! 